How's it going guys? Crank Yankee here again with some more hockey news. Not much today. Um, I know that, let's see, Pittsburgh plays Vegas tonight. Pittsburgh's not off to a good start. Um, one thing I was very, um, a little kind of, not upset, but a little miffed about. Um, Mata is not playing. He's not in the lineup tonight. Ali Mata. Um, they've decided to put in Ricola, which I'm okay with because, as Shannon says, greatest name ever. Like, whenever, if I'm watching a game and he scores, I'm just going to be like, Ricola. Because, you know, you know, and just like throw cough drops at people. <laughs> um, no, I've heard good things about this kid. Um, he's supposed to be really good. Um, a lot of potential. Um, looking forward to seeing how he does tonight. The only thing is, I'm a little upset that they took out Mata. Um, another thing is, Mata's, Mata's one of my favorite players on the Penguins. I love Ali Mata. I remember his, I watched his first game he ever played for Pink, for Pittsburgh. His first game ever in the NHL. I remember I was working a, uh, working a blockbuster at the time. So yeah, I'm dating myself. This was, I think, probably like, I want to say 14 maybe? 2014? 13 or 14? Somewhere around there. Um, so, yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe 14. Let's see what's it. Yeah, I have to be like 12, uh, 2000, between, so, sometime between 2012 and 2014. I don't exactly remember when his first game was and when exactly the dates is that I worked at Blockbuster, but it was a few years ago. Well, a few was like six or seven. Um, but I remember seeing him, and I remember being blown away by this kid his first game, thinking, wow, this kid's 18 years old. He's up playing his first game in the top four, looked really good. Um, and, you know, recently he's been kind of, eh. He's not been he's not been producing like he did when he started. He's been slowing down a bit. Um good character guy though. I really like Mata. Um I think that, you know, maybe he's just been having kind of a little bit of a slump. Not a big deal. Um I'm he's he's still young enough he can bounce back. But I really honestly think that Ali Mata is a good solid um probably a top four guy. Sorry about my hand, I'd itch my ear. Um but another thing, um, Latang, Chris Latang has now um, surpassed um, Paul Coffey as the highest point-getting defenseman in Pittsburgh Penguins franchise history with 441 points in his career. So, congratulations, Chris Latang. Great job. I love Chris Latang. Um, him and Dumo are going to be. They. 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 They're. They're. It's a good solid one and two. Um, not lights out one and two, you know, it's not a Brent Burns, Aaron, Eric Carlson thing, or even like, I don't even think I'd, I mean, maybe I could, I, I could put Ekblad and Latang kind of in the same vein, but at the same time, Latang's kind of getting on the older side, he's in his 30s, not old, but he's, he's, he's aging, he's getting a little older now, um, but they, we, we've got some, we've got solid defense now, like, our defense looks pretty solid, Jamie, or Jamie, I was thinking of Jamie Alexei. Jamie Alexei, actually, like I said, like I said the last year, he's kind of surprised me. He's actually been pretty good, uh, number five, number six guy. Like I said earlier in the season, I really was looking at thinking it was going to be Jack Johnson and Jamie Alexiak in that five six spot, but it looks like they've been playing both of them in the top four. Um, so that's interesting. Alexiak, I, I'm not, I'm not too upset with Alexiak being in the top four. Um, he's young enough. I think he could be. A decent shutdown guy with a little bit of offense you could put on that top four. I mean, I think he'd be more like a number four slash five guy. Um, my lineups, if I had my lineups the way it would be, I'd have Latang and Dumoulin. Then I'd have Mata. Who else do we have? Mata. And then I can't think of that other defenseman that we have now. Schultz? This is not Schultz. Schmaltz? Schultz? Schultz plays for Vegas. Whatever that other guy is. I can't remember his name. I'm terrible. I'm, I'm completely blanking right now. Um, but I definitely have Jamie Johnson. Or Jamie Johnson. I have Jamie Johnson. Jack Johnson. Not to be confused with the guitar player. Jack Johnson and um, Alexiak at that bottom, bottom pairing there. Maybe a five and a six. But actually, if that's the case, then you know, maybe what, what I would do, what you could do is do like a, a Latang and a, do a Latang and Dumoulin. Then have Mata and Alexiak on that number four and five pair or three and four pairing and then have um J jack johnson and um ricola on that five six spot because i know we know jack johnson's he's a defensive defenseman he's not going to get a lot of points but he's kind of a shutdown guy kind of a he's a defensive player which 
Pittsburgh needs. Um, but yeah, also, um, Murray's out with a concussion. So, he's not off to a great year. Um, but, you know, it, it, injuries happen. It's how it is. I mean, we've got Jerry. Jerry looks good. DeSmiths has always looked good. We've got some solid goalie depth. Um, the one thing I will say, one of my favorite things about being a Pittsburgh Penguins fan and about the Penguins organization in general is the fact that they are probably one of the biggest teams in the league for prospect development. And there are guys who they pick second, third, fourth, maybe even fifth round that come out of nowhere because they develop them properly. They have an amazing player development uh, group, a player development program in Wilkes-Barre. Um, there's been so many guys um, that have played for that team that have come up. We got Brian Rust has played for them. Dumoulin's played for them. Gensel, Murray. Um, Ricola's probably going to be playing for them at some point this year. My guess is I think he's a Euro, so I think those Euro guys, they can they can play their first year. Um, Daniel Sprong has yet to uh, make his real like legit legit debut um but i think we're gonna see see some stuff coming out of him pretty quick i um, mean he'll be coming up either this year i'm hoping this year if not he'll i am almost guarantee you he'll be in the lineup at least in that bottom six um next season um also zach Aston reese another one who's uh he's been playing so far this year he came up last year i remember playing him we, we all remember him for the playoffs that really nasty tom wilson hit um, that he took and broke his jaw in the playoffs this past season. So, I mean, but I mean, he, 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 he's a fighter, man. He, not a fighter, like literally, but I mean, he's a, he's a tough kid. He's a tough kid. I mean, that, that, that's a rough injury to have, but you know, he had the summer to, re to recover. He comes back. He's looking, he looks better this year than he did last year, which is good. Um, but no, that's one thing I like about Pittsburgh is that we have the ability to draft these, you know, basic nobodies that no one ever heard of and then have them come into the league and be crazy. I mean, nobody ever thought that Jake Gensel and Matt Murray were ever going to be what they are. Um, I mean, Gensel is still, we still, I still don't think we know his full, we haven't seen his full potential yet. Um, we've seen playoff Gensel and playoff Gensel is unreal. That kid is a playoff player, and Jake Gensel is probably my favorite young guy on the entire team. I love Jake Gensel. He's a phenomenal winger. He can play center. He played center a lot in Wilkes-Barre, so he's, he, he's, he, you know, if Crosby or even, I say, you know, Crosby or Malkin goes out, I mean, I'd say if Crosby goes out with, with a, if, if you see Crosby go down with an injury at some point this year, I wouldn't be surprised if they slot Gensel in that second second center position. I mean, they'd probably move Malkin up to the first, and they'd move him into that second center position. I think he'd do really well. He could even be a really solid number three guy. But I think a third line is a little, uh, it, it, it's a little, it's a, it's not enough for him. I don't think, I, I think he needs more ice time than what he'd get on a third line. But he could be third line center and then first line power play pairing, which could bump his minutes up too, which would be good. Um... Yeah, so that's that's kind of it about Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh plays tonight against Vegas. I'm at work, as you can see, I'm in the car, so I'm, I'm getting ready to head into work here in a few minutes. So I'm not able to watch that. I'm going to be paying attention to the scores. I'll check the scores on my break. Um, also, Florida plays their second game of the year tonight against Columbus. And any of you who watched my live stream last night will know that I'm not happy with Columbus right now. 